good look there from above progressive field here in Cleveland Ohio as MLB the show gets set to bring you another edition of Major League Baseball tonight a matchup of American League Central Division rival as it'll be the Detroit Tigers taking on the Cleveland Indians Hi again, everyone. Matt Vaskersian. Happy to be with you here for this one. And as always, I'm joined by Major League veterans Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. Hud, we turn to you first. What are you going to be keeping an eye on in this matchup here? Well, one guy who's one of the best all-around outfielders you're ever going to see is Torrey Hunter. The nine gold gloves speak for themselves, but his work with the bat is not too shabby either. Not by a long shot. You'd have to say he's the best center fielder of his generation. All right, Rex, thanks. Dave will join us in a moment, but now let's check out the starting lineup for the visiting Tigers in this one. It's brought to us by State Farm. At home or away, State Farm is there. Rajay Davis leads things off in left field. After that, second baseman Ian Kinsler. Austin Jackson will bat third and play center. Miguel Cabrera is in the cleanup spot at first base. Number 18 is the designated hitter tonight. He'll bat fifth. Number 50 will do the catching. He bats sixth. Torrey Hunter, the right fielder, bats seventh. Number 26 will bat eighth and be it short. Victor Martinez is in the ninth spot. He will play third. And on the mound to face these guys is the young swing man, right-hander Justin Masterson. Defensively, Dave, the Indians will line up this way. Rajay Davis makes his way to the plate now as we're just about set for baseball this evening. And the first pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. Setting him up inside as he swings and misses for strike two. And you can already see, his objective here is going to be to go right at these guys. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. Came right after him there with two strikes, and he just had no answer for that pitch inside. Ian Kinsler will be the batter. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. And this one's nowhere close as the catcher can't even get a glove on it. It's ball one. Hard hit to third. Dive, but it's just past his outstretched glove for a base hit. And the book on this guy is to get the ball up into the outer part of the plate. But I think he knows where this pitch is heading, and he puts a good swing on it. Austin Jackson will stand in. First pitch coming. And he gets ahead 0-1. Well, he got away with that pitch, but when you're a veteran pitcher, those are the kind of location mistakes you just can't afford to make. Now a move over to first. Has to dive, but he's back. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. Oh, and the throw sails. It's over his head. Don't quite know what happened here. He might have taken his eyes off the target or something because this throw is not even close. Has a look. Now the pitch. Just does stay alive as this is foul back. One out and a runner on third.
And he held up in time, but it's strike three called, and there are two down. And here's a look from field level. You'll see where this thing is. He thought better of swinging that time, but as it turns out, he should have. Miguel Cabrera is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. And he falls behind now, 2-0. And there's a swing and a miss, two and one now. That thing's almost in the dugout. What are you swinging at? Now a good slider there. Tough pitch, and from two and zero, oh, it's back to two and two. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. So a good job on the mound there as he'll strand the runner at third in the opening half inning. Starting lineup for those Indians is on your screen once again brought to us by State Farm. Heading for the batter's box now is Drew Stubbs as he'll start things out in the home half of the first. And he throws the fastball by him here 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Only two pitches, but he looks pretty sharp to start the ball game. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Ryan Rayburn will dig in here. First pitch is a cutter looked at 0-1. And that works for him here this time, but he's going to need to learn to work the corners better if he's going to succeed at this level. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's 1-2. Fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Boy, that's a beauty of a pitch. Check out where this thing is. He'd like to stay down there all night if he can. Jason Kubel will take his first cuts of the ball game here. Now here's the first pitch. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. With a good hitter up there, it's always good to get ahead in the count early. Chopper foul. And the pitch. Swing and a hard ground ball to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We move ahead to the top of the second now with no score. Number 18 leads things off now in the top half of the second. Ball one. 
Boy, he got the benefit of the doubt at the plate that time. That looked pretty good. Ball two now. Now the 2-0. And he gets this one over at the knees for the first strike. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. In the air to straightaway center field. Stubbs is right there, one down. Number 50 will get his first shot at it here. Here's the first pitch to him. In there for strike one. No score here as we play inning number two. Now a ball hit in the air to left center. Rayburn will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Corey Hunter will stand in looking to extend his modest six-game hitting streak. Start the at bat with a slider that didn't miss by a whole lot. It's ball one. Two and zero, oh. and he's ahead two and zero oh now, so he can sit back and look fastball here. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field, on the run, and he has it to retire the side. Nothing across here this half. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Mark Reynolds will start things off in the bottom of the second. And this is hit hard on the ground towards short. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired. Needed only 10 pitches to get himself through the first inning, and he's off to a similarly good start here in the second. Nick Swisher will take his cuts now. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Wow, he's trying to hit that thing into Lake Erie. Goes the other way as this is line to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. This one's slicing the other way down the left field line. And that's enough for him to pull in with two bases. Carlos Santana digs in at the plate. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. Matt, let's see if that sets the tempo for the rest of the at-bat. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0-2. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Boy, really working both sides of the plate right there. They work him away on the first two pitches of the at-bat. Then they come in with the third one, and it's see you later. Matt Laporta will get his first opportunity now.
cut fastball in there for a called strike. Boy, and a good frame job on that cutter. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Pause, now the pitch. Can't get him to chase. It's 1 and 2. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a 2 and 2. Slice down the line at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself. That'll do it for this half of the inning. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll go now to the top of the third. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Number 26 is ready to go here as we begin the third. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. And he reaches up to haul this one in on the run. Nice play for the first down. Victor Martinez will step in now. Here's the first offering. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first strike. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. And if he's smart on the mound, don't expect to see this one anywhere near the zone. Rolled foul off to the left, so they'll try it again. Struck him out on a good pitch there. And if you're keeping tabs, that's his 100th punch out of the season. And you see it there on your screen. Strikeout number 100 for him on the year, and that ain't bad. Rajay Davis will dig in. Strikeout victim his last time. Runs up to Bunn here, but this is going to kick just foul down the line. Third inning, no score to this point. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. And down 0-2 at the plate. Can't try to do too much here. Just try and shorten up that swing and go the other way if you have to. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Here's the pitch. And he gets under this one a bit as this is lifted into center field. Stubbs will get under it, though, and he puts it away to retire the side. Three up, three down for Detroit. Home half of the third coming up. No score. As Drupal Cabrera steps in now, and the pressure of that streak's got to be enormous as he looks to extend it. Swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. Jackson is there to make the catch, and it's one pitch, one gone here in the bottom of the third. Rafael Fercal will stand in looking to extend his modest six game hitting streak. First pitch coming. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. Yeah, yeah. 
Now a swing and a ball hit foul to first as the first base coach had to do a little skip to my Lou there. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Sometimes guys go down and get the soft stuff. Not there. Swing and a ground ball to short. Throw gets him. Two down. Sometimes guys go down and get the soft stuff. Not there. Swing and a ground ball to short. Throw gets him. Two down. First time through the lineup, and he's looked awfully strong. Just one hit against him so far. He's got his A game working here. Bruce Stubbs will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. First pitch coming. Hit hard to the right side. And this is going to be a foul ball. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball to first. And a step on first for the out. This side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Three innings complete. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Ian Kinsler will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Pours this one in at the letters, 0-1. Always good for the pitchers to establish the count in their favor when they're dealing with guys like this. Fouled back. Swing and a bullet to the right side. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. And now this will rattle up against the fence. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Pretty darn good back control there as he's a little late on this one, but still finds a way to slice it down the line for extra bases. Austin Jackson will get another shot. Called out on strikes his first time around. Starts him out with a sinker that's inside, 1-0. Oh. In there, 1-1. One one. Just couldn't recognize changeup out of the pitcher's hand. Swing and a liner. That's in there, base hit. Still a scoreless game, but now with runners at the corners and nobody out, there's a pretty good chance it won't remain scoreless for much longer. Miguel Cabrera will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Right there for strike one. Infield's at double play depth, so they'll trade a run for two outs here. He's ready now, the pitch. And that misses one and one. That thing's moving pretty good at the end.
Change up. Good pitch there. One and two. Grounded foul. Rolled softly down the line, and that is a foul ball. Try again, one, two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. And he's just starting to dig his own hole at the plate right now. That's the second time he's struck out in the ball game, And you can see on swing track, he needs to be more selective up there. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Pitch out, nothing doing. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Comes set, now the pitch. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. Well, they're setting up a way, and he just helps him out here. As a pitcher, there's nothing you like more. Number 50 will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. to the right side. Base hit and that'll get a run in. Well it took a little while but we're finally off the schneid in this one as that base hit brings in our first run of the game. Corey Hunter will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And a fastball's in there for strike one. And boy, his location has really been an issue in the inning. That pitch is right down the middle. Slider taken here. One ball, one strike. And he'll sling that thing across the strike zone, but he can't nip the corner. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Called strike in a dangerous location there, one and two. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. To the bottom of inning number four we go. Tigers are out in front, one to nothing. Ryan Rayburn. We'll lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Now a ball lying to the left side. Foul. One and one. One one on the way. Outside two and one. Trying to work that thing back to the outer half. Good spot. And he misses badly with a fastball here, and it's three and one now.
And that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Jason Kubel will stand in. He grounded out his first time. From the stretch. And he takes ball one. Well, sometimes umpires will reward a patient hitter. That looked like a strike to me. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's one and one. One one pitch on the way. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right side and that just about got the first base coach. Misses ball two. And this is where you hope for an umpire with a wide strike zone but he did not get the call. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Boy, and that's not what you'd consider a sweeping slider. That's a nasty slider. Tough to do anything with that. Mark Reynolds will stride in, grounded out his last time through. And a check swing looked like he went around. Yes, indeed, says the first base umpire. Strike one. Runner at first here, one man out. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air into foul territory behind first. And no one will get this one. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Nick Swisher will dig in. He doubled his last time. Now here's the first pitch. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. one oh pitch is right there but ruled the ball two and oh outside with that delivery and it's three and oh now yeah trying to get him to chase out there but that ball had too much tail on it Number 63 will come in and pitch now. Now a ball grounded foul over toward the coaching box. He's set now the pitch called strike and that'll run it full and with two outs here the runner on first should be going with the pitch and he comes back with a fastball strike three called and the inning is over so it's no runs no base hits no errors and a runner left on on to the top of inning number five we go Tigers lead this one one to nothing number 26 will dig in 0 for 1 here in this one first pitch to him and that's in there for strike one he's got to get the bat off his shoulders on pitches right there Swing and a hard hit ball back up the middle. And this is going to get on through into center, a leadoff hit.
And you know, when you're trailing in a ball game, the last thing you want to do is let the leadoff guy get aboard. Now it's right back to the stretch. Victor Martinez will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Pause now the pitch. On the ground to second base. This could be two for call. On to first, and they get them both. <laughs> Don't see this combination too often, but it's effective as they get the double play. Rajay Davis will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. One zero pitch is right there, but ruled a ball two and zero. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Tigers lead it one to nothing. Carlos Santana will dig in. 0 for one in the ball game. Swung on and missed that time. It's 0-1. Mm, you got to be able to recognize and identify that pitch. Pitch recognition, come on! And this is high, a ball and a strike. Now the 1-1. And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. Throw, and he's called out on a close play at first. The throw pulls him off, but that was a good job of knowing where the bag is, and he gets back in time. Matt Laporta will step in, a ground out victim his last time. Hit hard to the left side. In there, a base hit. And you know, most of the hitters in the league will have trouble with this pitch down and away, but this guy's had success there in the past, and he does it again here. So a runner on first with one out now, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Asdrubal Cabrera. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. You know they'd love to get him something he could hit on the ground here. Maybe get him out of the inning. Mm, got him out on his front foot. It's 0-2. Time to be a good two-strike hitter here. That means just concentrating on making solid contact. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Well, it looks like the bottom half of the order needs to pick up the slack here. But this ain't going to help much. you got to go. So a runner at first with two away. And stepping in now the shortstop, Rafael for call. Checks his swing, but this pitch is right there for strike one. 
And that one registered in triple digits. Just blew that by him. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now a swing, and he shatters the bat as this is hit to third. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. Detroit is out in front, one to nothing. Ian Kinsler will get things started here in the top of inning number six. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. Good patience there to stay back and watch that all the way. And he takes a cold strike one. Here's the one one. Mm, right down the shoot that time. One and two. Just a get it in fastball, but he'll get burned if he keeps leaving him there. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Good start to the six as we take a look at his line. Five hits allowed, but they've led to just one earned run, so he's been able to pitch his way out of danger so far. Austin Jackson will step in, one for two in the ballgame. In there, strike one. Let's see if he'll nibble at the corners here once he gets ahead. Here it comes. Softly on a line to third. Base hit. And he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. Matt, this is all about having quick wrists as a hitter. Watch as he just rolls over and yanks it down the left field line for two bases. Miguel Cabrera will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. in there 0 and 1 and you always want to get that first pitch strike in there when you've got to face a dangerous hitter like this swing and a line drive and that's in there base hit a run is in and he is out trying for two bases but credit him with a single and an RBI here He'll be credited with a base hit and an RBI, but his decision to try to take second base here did not pan out. Number 18 will dig in. 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Still pitching well, but you can see he's starting to get pitches up and over the plate. Be careful. Grounded foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. On the ground is second. Yeah. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So one run on two hits, no errors, and no one left on base. To the bottom of the sixth inning, Tigers are out in front, two to nothing. Drew Stubbs 
will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. him out with a strike on the outer half. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. It's an evening for this guy to forget so far. 0 for 3 now with two strikeouts. Ryan Rayburn will stand in. Base on balls his last time. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. And it drifted on him a bit, but he's able to hang in there and put it away. Well, he gets a fastball that time right down Main Street, in fact, but all he can do is hit a fly ball for an out. Jason Kubel will dig in. 0 for 2 thus far. a slider and he gets ahead of him here 0 and 1 now the pitch swing and a line drive and that'll fall and we'll see here this will kick up against the wall now and he will pull into second with a two out double you'll get a good look at this one more time as this ball's really hit hard and it's going to wind up an easy double so a runner at second, two down now, and that'll bring in the third baseman, Mark Reynolds. And a check swing. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. It's ball one. 1-0 one -oh on the way. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. Speed gun showing that one triple digits. He's firing right now. Line hard to the left side, but foul. From the belt, the pitch. I'm uh, trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Seventh inning coming up. The Tigers lead it two to nothing. So a new pitcher will come on now as we see the right-hander Jose Veras take over. Number 50 will dig in. One for two thus far.
here's a fastball called for strike one. Give fastball there. He's got to let it fly on those. Swing and a ball hit high, but not very far out toward right center. And a diving effort, but the ball kicks off the right fielder's glove. Well, the leadoff man's aboard here, and when you're trailing late in the game, you've got to make sure you keep the deficit right where it is. Corey Hunter will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Here's the first offering. Right-hander against right-hander, as this is a ball 1-0. and And at least he's keeping that thing low. He won't get hurt down there. Swing and a sinking line drive to right field. On forward is Kubel, but this is down for a base hit. And he continues to hit the ball well as that'll push his hitting streak up to seven games now. Number 26 will be the batter. One for two thus far. Fastball in there for a called strike. As a look, now the pitch. Now a bunt attempt, and it looks like a good one. And the pitcher, in fact, will just take a bite out of this one, an infield single. Well, just trying to give himself up here, but it turns out to be a defensive disaster as now the bases are loaded with nobody out. Victor Martinez can break this one wide open now if he can find a gap here with the bases loaded. First pitch on the way. And there's his strike right down the heart of the plate, 0-1. And, and with the infield at double play depth, it looks like they'll trade a run for two outs. And this is on the ground to first. Could be two. They get the force at the plate. On to first, the double play. A little unconventional, perhaps, but it does the job anyway, as a good turn here will get him the double play. Rajay Davis will try again. 0 for 3 with a strikeout thus far. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Good job of holding off there. And this catches the outside corner, strike one. is popped high in the air toward the left side. Reynolds is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Tigers strand a pair, but they hold a 2-0 lead. Nick Swisher will dig in. One for two with a double in this one. Here's the first pitch. Fouled straight back. Oh, and that is right there for strike two. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. And even he's smart enough not to chase that thing. Swing and a liner back through the box. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. And at this point in the contest, all you're looking for is base runners. So now they look like they could be in business here. 
Carlos Santana will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Swung on and missed, it's 0-1. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Yeah, guys might chase a slider down and away, but not a fastball. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. The relay, and he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. Matt Laporta will step in, one for two in the ball game. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Jackson is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And he is in there at third as the possible tying run. As Rubel Cabrera step in now in a real pressure spot as he's got the possible tying run 90 feet away at third. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Oh Boy, in a one-run game, you don't want to be leaving that pitch there. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Comes set, now the pitch. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. Working the inside part of the plate on 0 and 2, but he gets those hands through the zone quickly that time, and he works his way aboard. Rafael for call stands in as he swings and misses for strike one. Barnes now to pitch. Using the fastball exclusively here, it's 0 and 2. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Boy, and no factor up there with that swing. He was way late on the fastball. Drew Stubbs to try and turn it around. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts thus far. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. But this is back into the seats, a foul ball. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Hit hard to the right. And this is going to be a foul ball. And he struck him out. And there's the hat trick as that's his third strikeout of the ball game. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Ian Kinsler will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Swing and a soft liner to the right side. And that will get through into right. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base to lead off the inning. Comes through yet again. His third hit of the ball game as he's been one of the main cogs in this 11-hit attack. Austin Jackson will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. to the bag and a dive but he's back in first pitch to him and he pops up the bunt attempt Tries to bunt his way on here, but this is a foul ball. He's running towards second. In the dirt here. 
And no throw as he'll just hang on to it. Let's check this out again. Maybe the catcher's been thinking about his last at bat because this is a ball he should have come up with. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Fouled back. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. How about another look at this way? Kids, shield your eyes from this one. That's horrible. Miguel Cabrera will dig in, needing to find a way to get that go-ahead run in from second base. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. The next pitch. And 2-0 and now as this misses below the knees. And this pitch is inside and he can't find the zone all of a sudden. 3-0. This is a very good hitter up here. See, he might get the green light on 3-0. and Now a ground ball towards the hole. And that's past the diving infielder for a base hit. Well, once you fall behind as a pitcher, you're almost forced to throw a get-it-in pitch like this was, and he gets burned. Number 18 to try again. 0 for 3 with a strikeout thus far. First pitch coming. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. And now this is smothered, but it squirts away a bit. The tag gets one. The tag, and he is safe on a very close play at the bag. Well, in hindsight, it's easy to say he should have hung on at third, but he gambled for the plate that time, and I think he realized pretty quickly it wasn't going to work out. He's set. Now the pitch. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. A dive, but it's by him for a base hit. Well, they set up looking for the corner, but this thing comes right back towards the middle of the plate, and he pulls it to right for the hit. Number 50 would dig in, looking for hit number three in the ballgame. Down and in here, one ball, no strikes. And keep in mind, there's speed on the bases here. Runners on first and third, two away. Here's the 1-0. That swung on and missed, and we're even at 1-1. One one. Was that bat 34 inches or 64 inches? That was way out of the zone. Now a soft liner to the right side. Foul. Struck him out, but he'll try for first on the drop third strike. So they pick up no runs on three hits, no errors, and a couple of men left. Ryan Rayburn will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. First pitch curveball swung on and missed. Strike one. 
Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Fastball that time is nowhere close and it's even at one and one. Not a bad spot to miss. He might even go chase it out there. Fouled straight back. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that'll get through into center. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base now to lead off the inning. Oh, and base runners are so precious this late in the game, especially leading off an inning. So now the possible go-ahead runs aboard. Time is called now as we're going to get a pinch runner here. And it's the possible go-ahead run. They want to get some speed out there. And he's able to stay with it, but he did not make that look easy. Well, he's been around the plate quite a bit. You see there, 39 strikes. But if you leave too many in the zone, guys start locking in. Mark Reynolds will have another go. He struck out looking his last time. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And obviously a double play ball would be big here as it would get him out of the inning. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Matt with a few pitches to play with, figure him to waste a pitch or two. And he is down on strikes again. So get your hats out. That's the third strike out of the game. Nick Swisher will get another shot now. Two for three in the game. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We've played eight full, and we are tied 2-2. Michael Bourne will stay in the ballgame now and take over in left field. Call to the bullpen now as right-hander Jensen Lewis will come on here. Corey Hunter will stride in. He singled in his last plate appearance. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Throws in time and that's out number one. Well this is one you got to lay off as a batter because all you're going to do is drive it into the ground. Number 26 will be the batter. He's two for three thus far. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. One out, nobody on. Here's the pitch. And now this is swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Bourne will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Victor Martinez will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball 1. Deceiving pitch there. Good job to hold up in time. Now the 1-0 pitch. That's by him for strike one.
Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, says the third base umpire. Now a swing and a soft liner. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. I know he would have liked to have gotten out of this one, but now with a man on first in a tie game, we'll see how they approach things here. Rajay Davis will stand in. He popped out in his last time. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball popped high in the air and heading for foul territory behind first. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. Very enticing, but a good job holding up. The one and one pitch. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And a long run, but he's there to track it down. Nice range, and the side is retired. Carlos Santana is set to go now as we lead off the bottom of the ninth. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. So the call's gone out to the bullpen as they'll turn things over to the big guy, the hard-throwing right-hander, Jabba Chamberlain. Fastball for strike one. Boy, he's just attacking with that fastball there. Swinging a hard hit ball back up the middle. And Kinsler will flip it on to first for out number one. Tough play for a second baseman going to his right because he's got to stop, plant, and then get off a good throw. That's well done right there. Matt Laporta will step in. One for two in the ballgame. Grounded, fouled off to the right side. Bases are empty, one man out. The pitch. Outside for a ball, one and one. Now a ball hit high in the air out to center field. Jackson is there, two gone. As Drupal Cabrera will step in, an RBI single this last time around. Swinging a ground ball towards the middle, and that is through into center field, a base hit. I know he would have liked to have gotten out of this one, but now with a man on first in a tie game, we'll see how they approach things here. Rafael for call is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Swing and a bullet to the right side. And look where this pitch is. Right in the happy zone. He loves that thing middle lid and he explodes right through it. Drew Stubbs will try and erase his 0 for, 0 for 4 in the ball game.
Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Number 38 will be the new pitcher. time and the side is retired and talk about getting out of a jam in a hurry one pitch and it's right back to the dugout no sweat he says so they can't get that winning run home and that means we'll have to go a little longer tonight to find a winner nine can't decide a winner we'll move ahead to the tenth and we are tied 2-2 Ian Kinsler will step in a base hit in his last time And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seats. Now a swing and a hard hit ball back through the box. And that'll get through into center. So there's your possible go ahead run on base now to lead off the inning. Matt, you can just tell he's in one of those grooves where he can do no wrong. That's hit number four for him right there. New pitcher coming on now as we'll get a look at the side armor, Joe Smith. Austin Jackson will try again. Two for four in the ballgame. They pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back. And he misses low with it, 2-0. Oh. Now the 2-0. Oh. Swing and a liner towards second. And that's through, a base hit. Well, they summon the righty out of the bullpen to get a favorable matchup, but this time it backfires on him. Miguel Cabrera will try again. Two for four in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. Looks like he might be getting squeezed a little bit there. None out. Runners at first and second. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Oh, that puts him in a pretty good hole now. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And through past the diving for Call, a base hit. And the runner will score from second. Well, three hits, three singles. 
He's been nothing if not consistent, that's for sure. New pitcher coming on. It'll be the veteran left-hander, Trevor Miller. Number 18 will step in. One for four in the ballgame. And a strike at the knees. More like at the shins, but it's nothing in one. Runners are at first and third with none out. Oh, has him looking silly here. It's 0-2. Yuck! From the belt, the pitch. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. And that's a good two-strike pitch there, as now it might be just to set up something away. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Number 50 will dig in now. Two hits in four at-bats thus far tonight. And this is low, ball one. And he'll wait for something a little higher that he can do something with. Change up low, 2 and 0. Oh. Runners are at the corners with one man out. 2 0 -oh on the way. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle for call. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So one run on three hits, no errors, and one man left on. So now we'll see if these guys can get even in the bottom of inning number 10. Tigers lead this one 3-2. to two. Michael Bourne will lead it off now in the home half of inning number 10. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Joe Nathan is on and he'll take over on the mound. Grounded foul. Having success with a fastball here, it's 0-2 now. Matt, it's always important to come out of the bullpen throwing strikes. And over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. And yet another foul ball here as this finds the seats and the count will remain at 0-2. Ready with another 0-2. To the right side, but foul, and he'll try it again. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul.
swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. It's always nice to come in and get that first out in the 10th. Now he needs just two more outs to save this one for the ball club. Jason Kubel will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Now a ball lined to the right side. And that's in there. Base hit. First pitch fastball that time, but he's locked in on it as he sends it out to right for a base hit. Time called here as with the potential time run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Mark Reynolds stands in as he can't connect here 0-1. And the infield's into double play depth there as a ground ball could get him out of the inning. And he'll throw over to first. And a dive, but he's back in there. And here's a fastball called for strike two. And he'll just live on the black right there. So look, now the pitch. Good waste pitch, one and two. And the fastball, easy to lay off that time, two and two. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. Kinsler for one. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. Well, runs at something of a premium here in this matchup, so it doesn't make it quite as hard to find our top player of the game. Well, Matt, he really led the way in this one. A four-hit game, and he was certainly one of the cogs in the machine here in this one. So that just about does it. For my colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler and our entire crew, this is Matt Baskersian saying thanks for staying with us throughout this one. Once again, our final score in extra innings. The Tigers win it 3-2. This has been a presentation of MLB 11, the show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. So long, everybody.
Thank you.